Okay folks, I am here to show you my upgraded uh, Craftsman tractor with electrified snowblower for up-down motion, shoot, uh, direction and angle. So basically I have a uh, windshield wiper motor that is used to uh, rotate the chute. I installed a um, linear actuator to uh, uh, actuate the angle. As you can see, the brackets are those ugly blue things that are sitting there, made out of scrap metal, which is uh, the point of all this as well. And then as you can see here, I have another linear actuator to uh, um, lift the uh, snowblower off the ground. Uh, the lift and, you know, every uh, linear actuator has the uh, uh, end of run switch uh, set up. And as you can see, it got pretty complicated in terms of the wiring when way overboard, but uh, this is it. I've actually had this implemented in one way or another uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, I just wanted to clean it up and uh, make it all neat and uh, add the uh, angle, which I didn't have up until now. Uh, originally, I used to have uh, wires directly from the switches to the linear actuators, but uh, there was a lot of loss in terms of uh, current um, and power so the actuators would actually move quite slow and um, over the years the switches got dirty and so on so I figured that I would uh, make this a little more robust by having actual relays that's what's inside this box right here that are located right at the snowblower so power comes to the snowblower through this uh, mega connector here and then controls come here through these uh, uh, setup here that actually control the relays as far as the uh, controls for the snowblower, I also did something a little crazy here. So I built a panel that allows me to control each um, actuator, up, down, left, right, and then angle. And so each one has a hard switch that I can set and uh, do other things while the uh, actuator is doing its thing. Or I have these push buttons that I can actuate for temporary or just to make it move just a little bit. So how it works is this. Snowblower is up already. Uh, uh, middle neutral position. I want it to go down. So now it's, it's going down. Can you see it? It's too fast and it stays down and at the same time I have disabled all the other switches uh, when it's in this mode so that there is no short circuiting because as you know the voltage needs to be uh, the polarity of the actuator needs to be uh, flipped in order to make it go so this is the uh, angle right there that windshield weapon water has been there also for a couple of years so it works quite nicely or I can make it go just a little bit and then the angle up and down again I can make it go and leave it there while I, I found that uh, during the snowblower operation it's nice to be able to uh, have the uh, actuator do its thing and in the meantime you can maneuver the tractor you know back up uh, reverse direction and then by the time you're done reversing uh, the uh, chute is in the other direction that you want to or the blower is up or down depending on what you're doing so that's why I decided to go with this uh, uh, push buttons as well as hard switches that uh, can go and, and you know like I said that can do other things while it's uh, moving another thing I did uh, I've always had the uh, desire to know what time it is first of all when I'm on my tractor uh, whether it's summer or winter as well as um, uh, especially in the winter time it's nice to know how cold it is outside while you're snow blowing so I went again crazy and I added this panel here which when I power it up it gives me the uh, I don't know if you can see it but it gives me the uh, uh, voltage first of all of the battery if I care to know that so that I can figure out whether I'm charging or not and it gives me the time by pushing this button seconds uh, voltage of the battery and again temperature in Fahrenheit or uh, centigrade you can set it up the switch up here is to change the uh, clock when I want to change that 
And then these two switches here are for external lights. This one is a front light, which I haven't added yet. And this one is for a backup, uh, a light that, that sits in the back of the tractor, which again I can turn on uh, if I'm snowblower in the, uh, in the dark, uh, which can happen in the mor early mornings. Or if I happen to run late when I'm uh, mowing the lawn or something in the summertime, I can uh, I have some lights. And let me show you what those lights look like. This is the one in the back. It's an eBay special 18 watt uh, LED light. It looks very nice. I just put it on, so um, it, this is a flood type, and uh, it should give me some very nice light. And eventually, I'll add another one that will sit right here on that black piece of plastic in between the two headlights. And that's it folks, I hope you like it. Chat soon!